Hello, this is JNM with an update for my Blender 2.8 add-ons JMesh and JSculpt tools. Both can be used in sculpt mode now, for instance for creating base meshes in seconds without having to switch to object mode or edit mode. I'm here in sculpt mode with this head model and as you can see we have the mirror and symmetry features available in the JMesh panel and we can activate the primitive mode. As you know, we can create polygon shapes and add new points with every left click. So press Ctrl and left click to start and every click adds a point. But now we also have a draw input. So I undo this by pressing the escape key and press the I key to switch to draw. Then again Ctrl and left click to start the shape and now I can just move the mouse to draw a shape. It feels a bit like the grease pencil and to complete the shape Again press Ctrl, left click. Now we have this shape and we can extrude it by pressing the E key. This extrude can now also be done by moving the mouse. And to create the shape again press Ctrl, left click. And this is the start for the base mesh for creating the nose. The rotation doesn't fit but that's not a problem. We can use the new transform tool and bring it to the front and then rotate it without having to switch the mode. We can stay in sculpt mode. Ok, and as I already said we have the mirror available in sculpt mode. So we can just press this button and a mirror modifier is added. You can see this here in the modifier stack. But of course we want to use this new mesh for sculpting. So we have to remesh it with the voxel remesher. So we would have to apply the mirror modifier manually. So we have to remember this. But here the JSculpt tools come into play. Because I added the feature to apply existing mirror modifiers when the remesh button is pressed. Alright, now we have a base mesh for the nose. It is voxel remeshed. And you can use any sculpting brush you like. Again, enable X symmetry. And create the base form of the nose in a few minutes. Ok, once you're happy with the shape of the base mesh and you want to union it with the head, just select both objects in object mode and press join and remesh to have one object for sculpting. We can do this for the ears as well, the same technique. I snap the view, then I activate the primitive mode. And we'll draw in the shape of the ear here at the height of the eye line. Again, control, left click, and move the mouse to draw the shape. OK, then control, left click to apply and E to extrude. And this is the kind of low poly base mesh for the ear that we can move and rotate using the transform tools still in sculpt mode. We don't have to switch to object mode. And this is one of the goals of the add-on that I don't have to switch the modes when I want to sculpt because this is really interrupting the workflow. Okay, now I have the ear positioned and rotated. Then I press the mirror button again to bring it to the other side. You can still reposition it if you like after the mirror. And then you go again to the JSculpt panel and remesh. The mirror modifier is applied and you can go ahead and sculpt. Alright, another feature. Let's assume that you sculpted the ear and you go more and more into detail and suddenly you notice that you forgot to enable X symmetry and the other side 
isn't affected. I hate it when this happens. But there's a solution you can symmetrize. You have to bring all the features of the positive x-axis to the negative x-axis. And Blender has this symmetrize feature a bit hidden in the toolbar. But you can use now the J-Mesh buttons also in Sculpt mode. And I found it a bit easier to just click a button instead of searching for the right direction in a drop-down. You just have to know here to which side you want to symmetrize. For me it's more comfortable, but I would really like to know your opinion about this. By the way, the draw input of the polyline shape can be used with snapping to the grid enabled as well to create really interesting shapes. Have a look at this. I'm here in right autographic view and I have the draw input of the polyline enabled and here in the JMesh panel in the primitive section, snap to the grid is checked as well. And when I draw now into the viewport, I can create a shape like that. I don't know what this will be, but it looks interesting and can be a good start for any kind of base mesh, also for a low poly mesh. And what you can do now is you can drag around the vertices that you painted before you apply perhaps extrude and create the mesh. Okay, then I apply the shape by pressing Ctrl left click, then E to extrude. Again, Ctrl left click and we end up with this. So as you can see guys, a lot of new possibilities. If you have any ideas for features or questions, then let me know. If you find bugs or have other issues, then add these to the GitHub. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Stay tuned, follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and if you'd like to support me, then be my patron. This would really help a lot. See you guys on JNM.